Hello and welcome to our next AVH Interventions tutorial. Previously we would had a look at what we call an escort hold from our level 3 package, which is our soft skill restraints. We're looking here at being able to control a client or a patient or a resident in a less than confrontational situation. We're trying to get that control without the use of restraint that has any joint locking or pain compliance. I'm Martin Smith and I'd like to introduce you to my colleagues Piers Carter and Lee Smith. We're going to demonstrate now the use of the escort hold in our full arm wrap position but using now two members of staff rather than the one we previously demonstrated. So both of us have got now a control on the arm. Here's the escort position that we spoke about previously. Making sure that the hand is just around the wrist area here and just above the elbow joint so you've got some control and between us we can move our person around fairly easily but also fairly safely. So we've got some control over the person, they're not too non-compliant at this moment in time. Within our package we talk about a yes, no or maybe person. This is either a yes person or a maybe person rather than a completely non-compliant. From this position, should the struggle start to get more difficult and we need to get more control, then we go into what we call the full arm wrap. So I slide through and take my arm right the way through here and Lee's going to go into the same position. One of the most crucial parts of this is to have communication between the members of staff. Quite often in these stressful situations we get locked into our own way of thinking and our own doing. So we're moving, the other person's moving, but nobody's communicating. we found through experience that even if this individual can hear us talking to each other, it's not a detriment, it's actually a positive, because they then realise that we've actually got control and we know what we're doing. So here we've got the full arm wrap, we can move the person forward, sideways, backwards, wherever we want to go. If it gets even more difficult, because this is a vulnerable position still for both members of staff, obviously legs and kicking and these sort of things can occur as it's happening, and it's more difficult to control the arms sometimes, but we keep it nice and tight. What we can do is switch to a position at the back for the full arm wrap. This is done, both members of staff are going to change, but one at a time. So we communicate with each other. So I'm going to change first, and I'll communicate that to another member of staff. I'm going to move, uh, you stay in your position. Okay, so I'm switching, and I get to here. At this point, when I feel secure, I will shout, secure, next person move. They're in, we're pushing forward, we're pushing, we're pushing forwards this way, as opposed to, so that they can control the person. Care has got to be taken that we don't fall over, especially when you're moving somebody backwards, you've always got to be mindful of what they're struggling to keep up with us. But that's an advantage again with the control. So here we are in the full arm wrap position to the back, where we can now move, and also we can take down to the floor, which we can do in follow-up tutorials, and also then we can switch back to a seated position. So that's the escort, the front full arm wrap, and the back arm wrap using two members of staff. Thank you.